2021 online. And you'll notice that me and Victoria are not together today. Uh, due to coronavirus, we're not allowed to be in the same room as each other. So I'm going to take you through the first six artists in this film, which is film two on day three. And then I'll hand over to Victoria and she will take you through the final six for this film. So without further ado, our first artist is Rachel Butlin. Rachel creates these really um, contemporary, interactive, uh, wearable jewellery. I mean, you can just see here that her pieces are absolutely sculptural. They are small scale sculptures that you can wear on the body. And that, you know, the concept of wearable art is absolutely at the forefront of Rachel's work. Uh, the colours she uses and the um, building up of all these blocks and elements in each piece is just beautiful composition as well. Rachel's jewellery are just absolutely fantastic statement pieces. Our next artist is Rachel Higgins. Rachel creates um, sculptures, life-size figurative animal sculptures, which are made from wire and um, you can see here perforated metal sheets. Uh, I think her sculptures are just fantastic. They really evoke the character of each animal that she's capturing. And she layers up all these different types of metal and hammered, soldered, brazed, riveted, enameled uh, to create these really characterful creatures. They've got a real delicacy to them as well. And um, you can just imagine them as a statement piece inside and they'd just be a real talking point of any room. Next up, we've got Ralph Shuttleworth. Ralph, as you can see here, is a wood turning artist and sculptor. He really, um, the way he can make wood just seem really fluid and um, the processes he uses and the techniques um, are rarely used on wood and it just really gives these amazingly organic natural um, sculptures which um, it's a collaboration between natural processes and human involvement. Really interesting sculptures from Ralph. Our next artist is Rick Liptrot. Rick is an illustrator and he specialises in creating these very detailed illustrations of um, well-loved architecture and scenes from around York. Uh, he's a great supporter of independent businesses and a lot of these buildings house those shops, bars, cafes and other local venues. Um, he combines a few techniques such as collage, stencils and monoprinting to create these illustrations capturing the heart and community of York. And so we're moving on now to our next artist, Richard Frost. Richard designs um, and hand makes beautiful bespoke limited edition furniture. Um, he uses predominantly um, oak, ash and maple. And his inspiration um, comes from many avenues. Like, like many artists, um, it's his kind of interaction with the world, so walking in the countryside, um, experiencing different, different cultures or visiting um, industrial heritage areas of the north. Um, these give him inspiration for colour, texture and he tries to incorporate this back into these stunning pieces of furniture that he creates and his eye for detail and his use of colour against the natural wood colour is just beautiful. And my final artist for this film is RJB Photographic. So RJB Photographic is Richard and Janet Burden and they are fine art photographers and you can see here that they're work really um, captures the stark beauty of wild remote places in winter. 
um, just the contrast between the fresh fallen snow, the dense white fog, and then these really dark shadowy silhouettes of trees and um, other things that you would find in the environment. Um, just a really great contrast and really striking imagery. Um, they they try to use the barest hints of detail, which really gives each image of theirs a pure simplicity. So I'm going to kick off with um, painter Roberta Winnette Harrison. She um, is definitely an artist where realism and abstraction um, kind of collide and create these really quite wonderful, um, quite crazy bonkers, I think, in a really positive way, um, delicious paintings. Um, I think we can safely say that Roberta's got a bit of a thing about cats in, these, in this series of paintings. Um, her paintings are stories. They're where the cats have um, a world that they're looking out of and into and onto. Um, they're kind of, they have an opinion about the human world and what we're doing and the worlds that we're creating. And sometimes their sense of understanding and their sense of instinctive feeling might be something difficult like fear or worry, or it might be something like wonder or intrigue. So we move on now to artist Rosanna Johnson. Rosanna is a mixed media artist and she also uses painting and textiles within those mixed media pieces. So she creates these very beautiful monochrome palette pieces and that each one is very unique and it's very process driven. So having a look here, you can see that the characteristics of the material are really important. She improvises, she um, is inspired by momentum um, and she allows the material to really speak and um, take its own shape, have its own expression. And the monochrome palette is very calming as well, there's something soft here and something that makes me anyway want to feel like I want to reach out and touch the pieces. There's such tactility to them. Uh, we move on now to a jeweller, Nicola Rawlins, whose business name is Seed. So um, Nicola, when she's talking about her work, she explains that she begins with a wall of inspiration like a mood board, gathering visuals objects, photographs, and then mixing them together to create pieces of work that have that same feeling, are like a layering. Her pieces quite often use quite simple colours, and yet at the same time there's something really striking and strong about each individual piece. Moving on now to artist Shelley Perkins. Shelley combines digital art with um, traditional mediums. So for her, that means she starts off with a line drawing and then she builds up with watercolour washes and other kinds of paint techniques. And then she uses digital um, uh, work to kind of build up new layers. And then she'll quite often go back into that work and do hand draw more elements. There's quite a lot in there um, of different sort of techniques. And yet at the same time, what she creates has such um, a, a delicate touch. There's something um, soft and simple and welcoming about the pieces of work. We're going to move on now to a ceramic artist, um, Bethany Stafford, whose business name is Stafford Design. And Stafford Design create these very beautifully coloured, slip cast porcelain sculptures. They're bound with elastic bands, which means that the viewer can actually interact with the piece. So taking the rubber band off, reorientating the pieces and putting the rubber band back 
to give a different sense of how that piece is sitting in the world. I really love the idea of interaction with these pieces and um, the, the, the idea that these little sculptures are to be touched and to be um, to be brought in to your day to day world. And the final artist of the six that I'm speaking about today is Suzanne Hodgson. Um, Suzanne is a furniture designer and maker. She uses machine skills and then also hand finishes all her pieces. She's absolutely uh, loves getting commissions. So if there's a place in your home where you're really looking for something um, in, uh, really beautiful and something different in terms of a piece of furniture, she'd be a really good person to speak to. Um, her work always has some kind of element of surprise in it. So that might be um, that it's, it's a way that she's used colour. It might be the way that she's used line. It might be the way that she's brought in an extra texture. So when you're sort of looking at the surface of the piece, you realise that there's something more there. There's something deeper. There's something within. So thank you for listening to me talking about the six artists that I've spoken about today and for listening to Emily if you've watched the whole of this video. Um, we've got one more video to go um, and then we'll have introduced all of the artists that have taken part in Art and Online. So we really hope that you um, spend a bit of time looking on our website, um, artand.co.uk, finding out a bit more about the artists that you've been really inspired to find out more about. And we will see you at 4pm for our last video of the day.